Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and click that red subscribe button so you can join me on this new adventure of pregnancy. So in today's video, I just wanted to show you guys a morning routine now that I'm pregnant. Um, I require a lot more sleep. I'm a little slower in the mornings. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what um, I have to do every morning. That includes a progesterone and oil shot, as well as a progesterone suppository, which I did before jumping out of bed today. And by jumping, I mean crawling out of bed. <laughs> so as you can see here, I'm just starting with the basics, brushing my hair, brushing my teeth, washing my face, just trying to wake myself up before I take my pup out to potty. for me to get ready for the best part of the day. Every day I try to practice 30 minutes of yoga and my favorite way to do that is just by turning on the Yoga with Adrienne YouTube channel and doing her most recent video or just going to one of her other videos that seems to reach out to me that day and I just spend a good amount of time stretching, breathing, and just enjoying moving. So I usually feel pretty good in the mornings, and so as long as I feel good, I will take the time to do some yoga and maybe even go for a run. And then after my yoga practice, I like to sit for five to 10 minutes and meditate. And Poe likes to come over and sit and hang out with me and bug me. <laughs> but he's cute and fluffy, so I don't mind it too much. After my meditation, I like to take a minute to check in with myself and I do that with my Ovia app. I love this app. You can track so many things. You can track how you're feeling mentally, any symptoms you might be having, as well as your exercise, movement, sleep, what you're eating, so much stuff. You can track your weight. I really like this app. It's been really super helpful for me to look back and see how each day has gone. And I think it's just good to take a moment to check in with yourself no matter what, even if you're not pregnant, just to see how you're feeling every day. And now the fun begins. So those of you who've been through IVF know that there are a lot of medications involved. So I like to keep my medications just stored in this bin. I've got, you know, each medication in there, as well as some band-aids, some alcohol swabs, all of the needles and syringes I need. It's just nice to have it all in one place. And this is just a small clip of me getting the injection ready. If you would like to see a more step-by-step -step video instruction on how to do the progesterone and oil shot, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And I don't know if you'll catch this or not, but I'm going to stick the syringe into my armpit so that it can warm up before I actually inject myself. This is an oil medication and it does a lot better going into the body when it's warm. All right, and while that's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and make a smoothie. So this is basically the smoothie I make every day. It's what I pack all my nutrition in for the day because the rest of the day I'll just be eating survival foods. So I start off with spinach, a little almond milk, some Greek yogurt for protein, and I feel like if I can get this nutrition in me in the morning, then I don't feel as bad about eating, you know, 
the junk, basically, the no nutrition foods I eat throughout the day. So add a little fruit, a little pineapple. I love this matcha green tea powder from Vital Proteins. It also has some collagen in it, which is great for protein. And then I love this stevia. It's just vanilla flavored liquid stevia and it adds such a good light sweetness to the smoothie and just like rounds out the flavor. I love it. So since I feel okay in the mornings, that's when I'll go ahead and take my prenatal and other supplements while I drink this smoothie. Whereas if I were to do that in the afternoon, evening when I'm feeling nauseous, I just don't think I would be able to tolerate it. And of course, I've got my metal straw because I'm saving the turtles. Now it's time to take a look in my pantry and pick out what snacks I'm gonna bring to work because I really have to be eating at least every two hours in order to keep my nausea at bay. So I've got some nuts, some olives, of course my ramen, and some crackers, and these little mandarin oranges. All right, looks like the syringe is warmed and ready. So now all I gotta do is just prep myself for the injection. So what I do first is I go ahead and like press my nail into the area where the needle is gonna go. And then I go ahead and grab a uh, alcohol swab and wipe that area. And when you push the needle in, you just do it really quick and you don't even fill it. You gotta pull out just for a quick second, see if there's any blood. There's never really any blood. I mean, I've never experienced that. And then this one is a little bit hard to push in, so you really have to take your time to push it in and then pull it out really quick. And then I'll get a clean paper towel and just kind of press it on there and follow it up with a Band-Aid because Band-Aids make everything feel better. And this is kind of funny because I store my syringes in an empty milk jug. That's because my pharmacist told me to do that because they were out of Sharps containers. And then right after my injection, I go ahead and jump in the shower. I take a nice warm shower and take some time to really massage the area where I did the injection. That will help to avoid those pesky lumps. And that's it guys. I'm all ready for the day. I'm all ready for work. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.